conflict of interest. Astralis uh -oh. uh, was made aware of a range of claims about possible breach of partnership rules and regulations in line with governance code and independent investigation was commissioned approved by ESL Pro League Executive Board. It concluded and found that Astralis asked and received services from a future employee between April and July 2021, which created a conflict of interest as that party held a position of authority within the competitor team. Hmm, I wonder who this is about. It did not report this to the league authorities and the competing team itself. This was found to be a breach of regulations for the league agreement. Other claims were investigated in this process. process however, no other breaches were identified. As a result, the executive board has decided that Astralis has fined a total of $100,000 for maintaining and not reporting an existing conflict of interest. Gee, I wonder who this was. Fuck you, that's what you get. We're equally surprised and disappointed. Yeah, no, we're all surprised. I am honestly shocked and surprised that once again, Astralis is caught up in some bullshit. And I'm honestly just so disappointed in this Astralis organization. <laughs> we're glad they caught us. The need to investigate a member is rare. Oh. Hunden really do just be speedrunning every fucking, like, board possible. Who is Hunden? Honestly, just like, somehow the manages, PO like, one of the just the signing. shittiest people ever at this point. I'll be honest. I hope it was Richard that brought it to their attention. I really do. He explained to something. So basically, they're getting fined for $100,000 because somebody, while basically working for one team, was talking to another team about working for them. Also, Hunden was recently released from Astralis, if you are not aware, chat, about a month ago. No, not a month. Right after Dallas. And I imagine that this investigation uh, plays a huge part in that. Which, by the way, don't be mistaken. Astralis fully knew. Like, this isn't like... Astralis is just saving face and then they're paying their fine. Like, they're like, ah, he got us again. <laughs> I don't know how many more times everybody's going to fuck around with Hunden and then find out, but holy shit. Absolutely so dumb. But yeah, basically that's what he did. So when he was coaching Heroic, while being a piece of shit there doing what he was doing. Yeah, he was also about to go to Astralis. Okay, why is that a problem? People negotiate jobs all the time while still in one job. All right, Tom, not trying to be condescending, but this is a competitive environment where your competitor who has access and is coaching one team is going to be the coach of another team while you're still competing against one another. That's a direct conflict of interest. This isn't, this is not an office job. You are in a competitive environment. There are things that you can, like, you, you just, yeah, no, that's terrible. Yeah, but even if you're in talks while you're still employed and it, like, oh, I'm just talking to a competitor and somebody that I might, for example, be playing this week. How, who's to say maybe that person isn't like, hey, yeah, you can come work for us. Maybe lose this game or maybe don't do as good of a job as you would normally do because you're coming over here in a week, right? Shit like that. Yeah, he, there's a there's a laundry list of things that Hunden did, but this is specifically what this is for. Hunden really just speedrunning every fucking thing he can really can break all in once.